Hey, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I just wanted to say that really quick. I wanted to show you how I took this client from this to this. We'll do one more before, one more after. Here we go, before. Don't ask me how she got that like weird line right there because it's just might have been some girl from her previous appointment, not sure, to this, okay? So her before and afters. I want to challenge you guys, first of all, to think for yourself really quick. If you had gotten that before and just to get her to an after basically, um, she wanted lighter hair. She didn't want so much brass going on at the top. She also wanted her gray root coverage. I did make a boo-boo in the volume decision, but that's okay. Um, I'm also learning a new color line, so there's a different mixing ratio for gray coverage and all that jazz. Um, I was more than honest with her, and I told her if she needed anything fixed, just let me know. She's actually totally fine with how everything came out, so it is what it is at this point. We will definitely tweak things at her next appointment. I apologize. I am a little sick right now. My, I, I took my son to a little park and I think some little girl got him sick. So she was just coughing all over the place. So then he got me sick. Anyways, um, so I just wanted to say really quick in your head, think for yourself, what would you do? Would you grab the lightener? Would you go to town? Would you take her brighter? Would you uh, highlight up more to the top? What would you do? So I just wanted to kind of give you guys that moment to think before you keep watching this video. Once you do and you write down what you think I did, then just keep watching. So I will let you know how she texted me. So I've done her three times. The first time I didn't lighten her, the second time I did lighten her, and now we're bringing to this last appointment. So her response is, it's a little orange and the ends seem really dry. Maybe highlights to tone down the top and blend into the bottom. I don't know, I almost ready to just chop it off. So what I heard was basically, I did make, again, a couple of mistakes when I first did her hair because I was using NA and I was lifting her to like a seven, but her natural is not a seven. So I was exposing that natural warmth in her uh, underlying pigment. So it was definitely the hairdresser's fault at that point in time. Um, it's something I meant to do, but it's also something that you kind of learn with experience and over time. So I explained that to her in her second appointment. We tried a different color, definitely kept with the NA, but we kept it lower. So she still faded out pretty orange. So now I'm like, okay, well I'm ditching the NA because for some reason it's not working. Um, and that was the camera brand. Um, and then going from there. So I did just pick up a different color from Jack One Pro. It's the 5N. And it's supposed to be just straight across the board, regular and, and pigment. Again, she has a little bit of gray coverage that we need to do. I should have used 20 volume, but again, I was just like so scared to lift and deposit uh, because I just don't want any warmth exposed. So I was definitely trying to test out a different method. So it dawned on me later that, oh yeah, actually I should have um, did 20 to at least lift and, and get that gray cuticle ex like uh, blown open to be able to cover because it didn't quite cover her gray coverage, um, but it does happen. I also figured out later that I needed to do one to one ratio, not one to one and a half, but I didn't know that because I'm waiting on the swatch book to come in. So I just didn't know. It doesn't say that on the box, so that's why I didn't do it. So again, enough blabbering. What I did tell her was that I just took a Malibu C education class. It was about an hour long. I, it was actually a live video on Instagram, but I still consider it education. I do that a lot. I, I wrote down a ton of notes. And um, the magnesium slash copper in anybody's water actually can expose the orangey brassiness in people's hair. So right now, what you are seeing me doing is a Malibu treatment with crystal gel. The only thing in her hair at this moment is actually a new goo by Malibu C. It is a shampoo. You really want to vigorously wash their hair. You want to get a little aggressive and get that cuticle blown open with this, um, I think it's a page of nine um, on her hair. So that is what you're seeing me doing. And again, like I kind of warned the clients ahead of time. This is what I'm doing. I'm going to really get in there and try my best to kind of clean and cleanse your palette so that when we go in and do the work, it will actually come out exactly how we expect it to, yada, yada, yada. Now, what you're not going to necessarily notice with using a crystal gel treatment is ex like crazy results. You might not see any tonal difference. You might, you know, still have to work with what you're kind of going with, but it is supposed to remove minerals, which means that her dye will actually have room to go in and stay in her cuticle longer, and then she won't be having any type of chemical reaction with whatever's living in her hair. So much better results, less redos. Definitely recommend this. So enough blabbering. Let's go ahead and rinse this all out, towel dry her hair, and walk her back to the station. So remember that whole time, the crystal gel was actually dissolving into the water. That's what I first showed when I first started the video. So you want to read the directions as far as how that goes. And I shook it a little bit to kind of let it dissolve a little bit more. So what I actually am going to do is kind of part her out. Is, like not part her out, but 
I would go to apply it like a color. So whether you use a tint brush or just by gloves, whatever you do and whatever you like to do as far as applying cover, just go ahead and do that color. And you just want to get in all the sections and really saturate it so that it actually does its job. Then clip the hair up and then go grab a processing cap and put her under the dryer. So you want to do, it says 15 to 45 minutes. I like to just do 45 just in case I want to get the maximum results. And then you want to keep kind of like moving the hair product around at like two or three times during the service. That way you know that it's like fully getting um, touched, I guess, in a way. So I asked her if the heat was good. She was all good. So she actually enjoyed the little heat process <laughs> because it was super hot or cold outside. So she was like digging it. It was funny. Surface done like every four months or so, or every three months, so four times a year. So, what is in that little container is actually undo goo. I told her to go ahead and use that the night before her next service to ensure that she is as clean as possible as far as um, the clarifying shampoo goes. actually to do um, color and sorry toner on wet hair so they were saying that like you guys tone on wet hair so why wouldn't you be able to apply permanent color on wet hair and expect the same results we're not talking dripping wet or anything definitely towel dried very very well and then I hit it with the blow dryer like a smidge so this is my first time trying it and um, this is because those treatments take like at least an hour 15 minutes when it comes to washing and rinsing and all of that and applying so you have to remember that the blow dryer would take even longer so you either do this at another day or you uh, just apply it on the wet hair product but it's called frost it's by the same brand so jack one pro but you guys you don't have to mix it at all so it comes in an eight ounce tube and i just used 0.4 uh, of an ounce so i did end up using a little bit more but you literally just go to town if you see her hair color it doesn't even look that bright so it doesn't even seem like it will work essentially but it honestly worked wonders for her if you guys saw the before and after picture and like I said did you guys think that I lightened it with bleach because I think the hairdresser's first like thought is like oh she wants to light her bleach 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 and you just want to bleach everybody's hair like to be honest like unless they really don't have bright hair and all that jazz I try to get them especially their first appointment or two like not to even let me put bleach on their hair because usually they come to me with like fried hair and they need conditions and all that stuff so definitely the crystal gel treatment is always worth it especially if you are going to go with bleach but i actually have her before before picture and then her first after with me with no bleach so i do want to show you guys that i'll uh, definitely include it in this video at the end but um but yeah this stuff is so cool so it's an express rapid toner again no mixing required you just pour it in the bowl and apply and you guys should retail this to your clients as well for a purple shampoo if they wanted to keep it bright and ever so often i told her to feel it out see how she likes the color and if she does then we would retail it to her next time but basically it can stay on for 15 to like 30 minutes i think always 
always read the manufacturer's instructions because, girl, I can't go off memory. Let's get real. But I believe that's what it says. So I, she did have about 15 minutes left, so she only needed that amount of time. And her cuticle is very exposed right now, so that's why we were going to do a deep condition right after everything. And that's why I told her I did not want to lighten her hair, even though she only wanted it towards the top. It's still best to kind of treat your clients and uh, really care about the integrity of all of her hair. Essentially, you guys, this is a color bell. If you have not heard of the Wow Cove, you definitely need it in your life. That little red um, thing that you see it keeps rolling so it doesn't steal any of the products. So basically, you want to always blend in an upper color to the lower color so that it has that seamless, like there's no line. And then you just keep combing and then you don't worry about any of the uh, darker pigment getting on the lighter because it's already kind of protected by the purple shampoo. And then the little bit wouldn't matter anyway. So this is what they call color melty. Just so you know, it's super, super easy, you guys. It's not as complicated as people make it sound. And it literally is just what you're seeing. So the entire time I've done this service, this is all it came down to is called a color melt. So just clip her up and out of the way and then actually go to grab my processing cap that'll work too look at that beautiful blonde piece right there you couldn't see that before like how crazy is that the timer goes off you want to rinse all of the colors out of her hair and have you guys ever heard of stopping oxidation so again this is a training that i learned in the Malibu C education little seminar thing that I looked at um, on the live video but it did say to uh, leave a little bit of leftover crystal gel from that appointment and then apply it after you shampoo her hair out. Did I shampoo? I think I, no I didn't shampoo sorry. So I rinsed and rinsed and rinsed and then I applied the crystal gel and then I left it off for a little bit. I didn't really mention how long you should leave it off for so that's something that we all need to kind of figure out but I just kind of went with my knowledge and and my best like ability I guess and that I definitely let it sit for a little while and then I went and shampooed it out so definitely it's important to stop the oxidation so that the color does not con continue to darken in the next 24 hours because when you sometimes when people leave the salon they love their hair and then all of a sudden you get a text saying they hate their hair so that could be why or it could be uh, multiple of other reasons, but just for the hairdresser to kind of know, I want you guys to be as knowledgeable as possible. What you do with it is up to you, but definitely I want you guys to have all the tools that you need to succeed. So after you rinse out the crystal gel and then you apply your shampoo, I actually opted for her to do a deep condition. So once I apply the deep condition, I um, again put another cap on her head and let her sit for 10 minutes for it to really seal down her cuticle. And then I go in with regular conditioner. I don't know. That's just how I do it. So <laughs> I think everybody does it differently. So definitely always recommend conditioner if you think your client needs it. She'd see me three times and hadn't had one. So she was definitely a great candidate for this. So she is all done. Look at how bright her blonde is. Again, it is such a huge difference from when she first came in. She's got curly suits over there. She's so funny. Um, but yeah, so definitely this was a, a super fun color melt for me. I enjoyed doing the Malibu treatment on her. I know that she's got the best hair possible and her integrity will only get better. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Also comment a little emoji down below so I know that you guys made it to the end. Um, this was her very first before and this is her very first after. This is her before from this appointment and over time that is the after. No bleach. Okay, love you guys. Bye.